thank you, Prof. Evi, for the opportunity for sharing uh, something uh, what I uh, what I know uh, for the last uh, ten years in the standardization. Uh, and I will try to be brief because uh, I am in uh, work from home and the network is not stable. So I uh, I try to share screen. Okay. So this today lecture is uh, safety and standard in lithium batteries and electric vehicle. Uh, my name is Susanto Sikit Rahadi from uh, Ministry of Industry. Uh, this is a. Uh, Hi, Mr. Sikit, I think it's still uh, on loading. On loading? Yeah. Maybe. Is it loaded? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Uh, this is a light uh, material, it's not hard. Maybe a little bit complicated. Uh, because of a new uh, topic, but I, I try to explain it uh, uh, more easily. So, uh, our topic is uh, consists of three parts. Part one is a uh, I will explain about lithium battery potential hazard, some of the potential hazard uh, that may, may lead to uh, injur injury to human and uh, uh, loss to environment. And uh, part two, uh, international standards in uh, batteries and uh, electric vehicles. And part three, uh, I will explain Indonesia national standard or SNI for lithium batteries and electric uh, vehicle. But before, uh, I will tell a story about uh, where uh, I work. Uh, B40 is uh, founded in 1909. Uh, in Batavia, and the history is uh, gone until in the 70s, uh, B40 is developing a testing in primary batteries and lead acid battery, usually for uh, SNI uh, mandatory. And in 2011, B40 is pending to search and develop active uh, battery materials. Uh, uh, and we, we are uh, trained by uh, Professor Effie at that time. And in 2014, if I don't mistaken, that I joined the uh, battery school in the Batan. In 2015, uh, before the establishing pilot plant laboratories for lithium ion battery RDND, and uh, this activity has a spin off in 2018 for laboratory for safety testing. Uh, B40 services is comprised of testing laboratory, certification, industrial inspection and services, and industrial training and consultation. This is our uh, services, testing laboratories. It's a cement, chemical, concrete, metals, holography, automotive testing, uh, electric and electronic EMC calibration and so on. Certification, we have uh, ISO 9001, ISO 45001 and 14001. And also certification for SNI marking 
or SPPT SNI. For industrial services, uh, we have a building construction, uh, inspection, a failure analysis, and industrial plan. Technical consulting, uh, we have a intellectual property rights and industry 4.0. Industrial training, we have an international welding engineer and an international welding inspector and welder, uh, non destructive test, concrete technician, calibration, corrosion technician, and sampling officer. These uh, all services uh, right now uh, integrated and uh, support a battery and EV industry. This is our customer in battery industry worldwide. Then we endeavor part one, uh, lithium battery potential hazard. For safety aspect, battery system should be designed uh, to minimize hazard to user equipment and environment. Such uh, hazards uh, such as uh, thermal, shock, fire, explosion, venting, chemical, mechanical, electromagnetic compatibility, and also uh, bad components such as battery, IC, fuse, and other uh, safety components, and also uh, misuse from users because of lack of education, and lack of knowledge of the product, maybe from uh, bad marking or uh, inadequate instruction. The potential risk uh, of electrical powertrain in EV, uh, such as uh, electric shock, the touching high voltage buses, uh, overheat, by excessive current, risk uh, related certain components, characteristics, and operation. For the common uh, risk, uh, electric shock protection, there is uh, two uh, situations that should be uh, monitored. One is protection in normal situation, and the other is protection in single fault uh, condition. For the electric vehicle post crash safety, uh, requirement for post crash situation that electric safety for vehicle, the occupant should be ensured uh, safe after a prescribed uh, crash test. And uh, uh, options for electric safety assurance is uh, limitation of uh, touch current or body current. It should uh, high in insulation resistance, elimination of hazardous voltage, elimination of hazardous energy after post crash, and uh, intact of barrier or enclosure by physical protection after uh, post crash. This is a basic safety requirement. Uh, not only nine, but uh, there are many other uh, basic uh, safety requirements. Uh, this uh, pre presentation I will uh, expose uh, some important test item, such as uh, vibration in thermal shock cycling. This is uh, for environment and mechanical safety. Uh, mechanical impact, this is a safety of at a uh, vehicle crash. Uh, fire resistance, uh, safety of the purpose is for safety at a uh, vehicle fire situation. Uh, external short circuit protection, overcharge protection, over discharge protection, over temperature protection is for control system safety and the emission. Emission, we have two kind of emission. Uh, hydrogen emission and uh, EMC emission. This is an example of how 
how big magnitude of safety problem. This experiment were conducted by uh, B40 in 2019. Uh, we do internal short circuit in the NCA cells, NCA cell, single cell, lithium ion, 700 milliampere hour in open field test. And the fire is so immense. And uh, it cannot be uh, eliminated, eliminated by only by a fire extinguisher, but uh, we used a lot of water to uh, put it the fire down because the triangle of fire, the fuel, uh, the, the ethylene carbonate, which is a uh, very uh, flammable, oxygen and heat, the three components of fire is already inside the cell. This is a single cell. How about one pack comprises of 34 cells? Usually in a motorci motorcycle or moped, we can imagine how the fire uh, can be if there is a, a failure happen. And the, there is a relation between SOC and thermal runaway. The higher SOC, the more likely the thermal runaway. And cells should be operated in the normal operation. And for other information that usually manufacturers store fresh battery, but not in full charge, but not uh, at full empty. It might be around 60% SOC. And one of the most unfavorable condition, the worst condition to test safety on uh, battery is at the condition in 100% SOC. This is very dangerous. Even for uh, lithium ferrophosphate, it's quite safe at a low SOC, but it emit a fire, big fire at 100 SOC. So that's why uh, we consider to design uh, testing lab facility with uh, hazard level uh, consideration. We consider above five uh, hazard level for designing uh, uh, the safety of the testing facility. That's why the infrastructure and uh, uh, inf investment is uh, very high. And uh, for the B40 battery uh, preparation, we start from the small batteries, small cell for portable uh, usage and the power bank. This is uh, part of our learning curve to acquire uh, expertise in the field of uh, battery testing. And we set up uh, underground lab facilities to suppress the possibility of uh, risk from fire and explosion. The challenge in battery quality insurance is as that the cell size and the format of the cell is very uh, various. And the battery size and config configuration is uh, also various. Wide variation cells and battery components, and uh, it is uh, uh, difficult to screening and grading every cell 
goes into the batteries. We consider that we know that a factory manufacturer making cells is not one or two cells in a day. It's thousand and a thousand cells in a single day. It's uh, very challenging in uh, manufacturing. And uh, in the market, there is a counterfeit cells and batteries, which is which uh, not uh, certified at all. And the other problem is internal problems. It means that internal short circuit. It may be a manufacturing defect or abuse by user. This is very common uh, and uh, complicated uh, problem in manufacturing because detecting a defect is uh, very hard. Fresh uh, battery uh, do not give indication of any defect in the, in the first uh, week or month. But uh, in the usage, maybe six months or one year, the defect is begin to emerge. And the other problem is when we pack uh, cells into a battery pack, what if there is one cell fail and catch fire? The fire will be propagated to the neighbors, neighboring cells and finally, all burn out. This is a Tesla uh, term, uh, accident. They have a, a mechanical crash in the bottom of the car and catch fire. Maybe one or two cells and then set uh, uh, and then uh, propagate to the modules. And interestingly, in the NTSB report, that only one or two modules damage. The other modules are uh, not damaged. That gives other risk. That the other modules still have high voltage. That's why uh, the fire factor feels high voltage uh, shock when uh, dealing with this car. This uh, accident is uh, released and opened publicly by NTSB. Part two. International standard in battery and EV. Uh, for the moment, we will discuss about what is the difference between regulation and standard. Uh, regulation is a government responsibility. It reinforces regulation and implementation. But standard is a different. Standard are agreement. It's to provide a framework and principle and recognized by uh, members. What they recognize is a specification. There are level of stand, international standard to industrial standard. The purpose of regulation is to ensure safety, assurance environment, and forcing them to the manufacturers. But international, international standard is a 
facilitate development of standard and establish efficient supply chain based on trust standard. And the enforcement for international regulation is obligation, which is mandatory. And for standard is voluntary. This is a level of standard, international standard, ISO or IEC. The, the uh, lower level of international, international standard is regional standard such as SNLEC for electrotechnical or for general uh, regional standard in European is a CEN. And there are national standards. In Indonesia, we know SNI, in German, DIN. D -N. In uh, China is GB, in uh, Japan is GIS, in British standard. And standard for each industry of group. And we have to uh, recognize that uh, European Commission is not making a standard. They uh, producing a regulation. This is a overview of uh, EV uh, standard and regulation. For the yellow box is a regulation and the blue box is a standard. Now, if we make a group international regulation and international standard, we find that the, uh, there is a different, different documentation. International regulation uh, is a UN R100. It, this is for a four wheeler and UN R136 for two wheeler. On the other side, the international standard, uh, such as ISO and IEC, uh, there are many parts of them. Standard can be used by regulation. Uh, we know that SNI uh, mandatory is a national standard that uh, adopted by regulation and become national regulation. So SNI mandatory is national regulation, but the SNI is national standard. And for this, uh, ISO and IEC, they uh, international standard. Uh, one of the scope of work is to harmonize uh, standard between countries. But there are harmonization of regulation. So ISO and IEC is harmonization for standard and there are harmonization in regulation. Uh, who conduct the harmonization of regulation is uh, United Nations or GTR, uh, Global Technical Regulation. Uh, this is uh, Professor uh, Agus aforementioned uh, GTR. GTR is uh, regulation. And uh, right now, only uh, United States, uh, India, and China. In, I'm sorry, and in 1998 agreement, uh, only three countries. And uh, expanding the members. So this is a uh, how to how they. Uh, develop the regulation. And this is a comparison between 
UNR 1000, uh, UNR 100, and GTR for the requirement of the test. So there are many uh, problem in developing the regulation and uh, what, uh, they are not uh, have a consensus yet to uh, complete the uh, regulation according to UNR 100. And part three, the Indonesia National Standard SNI for lithium batteries and electric vehicle. For the standard, Indonesia has a Badan Standardisasi Nasional or BSN. This BSN assigned technical committee for developing SNI for de developing standard national Indonesia. For the context of battery and EV, we have three technical committee. Technical committee three one. Technical committee three one zero one is electronic for household. And technical committee four three zero two for road electric vehicle. Technical committee two nine zero six is for installation and reliability of uh, electric power supply. Technical committee 3101 organized by Ministry of Industry in the Directorate of Electronics. Technical committee 4302 is uh, organized by Ministry of Industry in the Directorate of uh, transportation uh, in directorate of uh, transportation industry and the uh, technical committee 2906 is uh, organized by ministry of energy uh, at the Directorate General uh, Ketenaga Listrika. Directorate General Ketenaga Listrika. So if uh, you have a question about uh, standard uh, composed by this technical committee, uh, you can uh, mail them. Uh, the address of the technical committee can be found at the Badan Standardisasi Nasional site. And this is a standard EV standard in Indonesia. The category is a general EV system, EV components, and infrastructure. For EV system, uh, there is a performance standard and safety standard. For the battery, we have a cell dimension standard, cell test standard is SNI IEC 62660 part one and part two, and also part three. And battery, Pack performance test for four wheeler and two wheeler, battery pack safety test, four wheeler and two wheeler, and other uh, system. For EV components, there is a electric power drive components uh, standard for electric motor, inverter, converter, and ECU four-wheeler and two-wheeler. And the infrastructure, which is a charging system. There are many standards for charging systems. 
and especially for battery swap system there are there are two standard for four wheeler and three standard for two wheeler and uh, there are two SNI standard that uh, special case because it's uh, quite opposite with a previous explanation that standard is adopted to regulation. These two regulation are adopted become an SNI standard. Why this happen? Because the requirement of uh, Ministry of Transportation for uh, manufactured uh, uh, EV man, manuf uh, automo automotive manufacturing is uh, required to comply the two UN regulation. So when manufacturer asks a training committee that uh, how to make a SNI for uh, EV. So they uh, recommend UN regulation. Um, and the process is uh, quite simple. They just uh, adopt identical, identically uh, UN regulation 100 and UN regulation 126. So this is a rare situation, but uh, might be cause confusion. And for example, uh, safety requirement of a removable and swappable battery system. The content is uh, many uh, tests, such as uh, electrostatic discharge, 300 times connection cycling, resist resistance of terminal, insulation resistance, electric strength, temperature rise, and electric shock. So, uh, and this, uh, these are uh, tests um, for environment such as temperature and humidity cycling, salt spray, vibration, and thermal salt. The other is uh, marking instruction and manual, venting and electric spill. Venting is a release of gas, high pressure gas inside the batteries to outside. Usually battery has a, a safety valve. When uh, the battery is uh, overheat or overcurrent or uh, has a abuse condition, the gas is accumulated inside the battery and release the other is a value of protection, emergency responses, fire ignition. Um, the important is interlock system. In charging, it is required that the EV cannot be operating. So when the cable connected and uh, charging is uh, uh, is a uh, is a happen. This is what required that uh, the EV cannot be operated. It is very dangerous uh, if the EV operated while uh, charging. And this is other uh, safety requirement such as insulation system, short circuit, mechanical stress, strength, and others. 
is also a limitation of hazardous substance such as cadmium, mercury. Mercury should be under 100 parts per million and other substance. Usually phthalate and polybrominated is from a plastic with a fire uh, resistance material. This is actual test of electric motor in B40. We test uh, ABC emitted radiation test with a certain range of frequency. And the other part is uh, uh, road to green economy, how to make uh, this uh, uh, business process is um, green. Uh, there are uh, many uh, activities to recycle the EV batteries. We have to consider circular economic principle and uh, management system to guide the activity. And there are two uh, kind of consideration. One is activity domain where the recycle takes place and the uh, uncertainty lead to risk for the activity. The other is uh, this recycled battery should be socially inclusive or society participation is uh, essential. And this is a flow of recycled activity. There are two flow. One flow is a mass flow from collection to identification to extraction and return. But this uh, flow is intimate uh, connection with information flow and control flow. And uh, for our uh, review that uh, these steps of recycle activity have uh, different uncertainty and different level of risk. And then our recommendation can be that uh, standard for uh, recycle acti activity can be developed into two or three stems. Okay, uh, this is uh, our presentation. Uh, if you have a question, uh, feel free to to ask.